today by top secret. Vampires, did they really exist? What proof has been discovered? Historical vampires, the background. When did vampires begin? As with many legends, the exact date of origin is unknown, but evidence of the vampire tale can be found with the ancient Chaldeans in Mesopotamia, near the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers, and with Assyrian writings on clay or stone tablets. The land of the Chaldeans is also called the Ur of the Chaldeans, which was the original home of Abraham from the Bible. Lilith was a possible vampire from the ancient Hebrew Bible and its interpretations. Although she is described in the book of Isaiah, her roots are more likely in Babylonian demonology. Lilith was a monster who roamed at night taking on the appearance of an owl. She would hunt, seeking to kill newborn children and pregnant women. Lilith was the wife of Adam before there was Adam and Eve, according to tradition but she was demonized because she refused to obey Adam. Or to see it from a more liberated viewpoint, she demanded equal rights with Adam. Naturally, she was considered evil for such radical desires and became a vampire who eventually attacked the children of Adam and Eve, namely, all human descendants. References to vampires can be found in many lands and some scholars believe this indicates that the vampire story developed independently in these various lands and was not passed from one to the other. Such an independently occurring folk tale is curious indeed. References to vampires can be found among the ancient civilizations of the Mediterranean such as Egypt, Greece, and Rome. The ancient Greeks believed in the Strigo or Lamai, who were monsters who ate children and drank their blood. Lamia, as the mythology goes, was the lover of Zeus, but Zeus' wife, Hera, fought against her. Lamia was driven insane, and she killed her own offspring. At night, it was said, she hunted other human children to kill as well. One tale known by both the Greeks and Romans, for example, concerns a wedding of a young man named Menippus. At the wedding a guest who was a noted philosopher called Apollonius of Tyana, carefully observed the bride, who was said to be beautiful. Apollonius finally accused the wife of being a vampire, and according to the story, as it was later told by a scholar named Philostratus in the 1st century AD, the wife confessed to vampirism. Allegedly she was planning to marry Menippus merely to have him handy as a source of fresh blood to drink. True Vampire Legends Vampire tales occurred in ancient China, where the monsters were called Gyangshi. In ancient India and Nepal, as well, real-life vampires. Elizabeth Bithory A real-life bloodthirsty killer was Elizabeth Bithory. She is probably the most famous female mass killer. It is said that she and four accomplices killed hundreds of girls, and young women. Legend states Elizabeth Bathory bathed in their blood, in an attempt to keep herself young. Vlad the Impaler One of the major influences for Bram Stoker's character, Dracula, was Vlad III, the Prince of Wallachia. Vlad III was born c. 1431 and died December 1476. Wallachia is now in modern-day Romania. Vlad III's surname was Dracula which means son of the devil or son of the dragon, but the name that we know him by today is Vlad the Impaler. In his lifetime, his name alone, would have induced great fear. Vlad's cruelty is legendary. He killed many thousands by impaling, them whilst they were still alive. He also used many other methods of torture. No one knows how many people died under Vlad III's rule. Estimates range between 40,000 to 100,000 victims. There are many stories about Vlad's atrocities, some of which he may well have created, as he ruled by fear. Well what you think are vampire real? Write it in comment. I think maybe we never know.